R3, my camera equipped rover with a Raspberry Pi brain, got some updates. On the hardware, the communication interface with the shuttle module was modified. Up to now the connection was established using a conductive path, which has been changed to an infrared interface. The first advantage is that the aeroprone mechanical parts, namely the wiper and the metal plate are no longer in use. The second benefit is that a communication with the Atmel microcontroller is only established if Curiosity Pi faces the space shuttle. As a rover driver, you will recognize the software update. Instead of transmitting single images with 20 seconds delay, you can watch a live video stream from now on. After the login procedure, some seconds pass by until the stream is established. If you can't see video images after approximately 20 seconds, you can reinitialize the connection by pressing the button Reconnect. You can also use that control button if the video stream freezes while driving the robot. As soon as the video stream appears in your browser, you can control the rover as usual. There is a lag of several seconds between clicking a control button and a visible reaction of Curiosity Pi. Remember that you are driving a robot in a distant universe that has never been mapped by satellites so far. I have tested the browser interface with Firefox and Chrome under Linux. Your browser must support MJPEG videos. While driving in my RoboSpadium, random messages are displayed in the control interface and an audio file is replayed simultaneously. Listen to my fax machine. If you'd like to support this project, you can make a donation and create own messages that will be forwarded to all rover drivers. Of course, driving my robots will stay free of costs, at least for you. With a donation you can help to compensate for the time and money I am spending to turn my projects into a reality that benefits free education, thus you too. You can read more about how to make a donation and get the construction details of CuriosityPie on the project page. And of course you can have fun with driving my robots on my pages. Thanks for watching and I'll be back 